What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and play Steam games on your Android devices using the Game Hub emulator. And this is their official web page. Well, we all know this is one of the best optimized Windows emulators for Android. It's also a complete all rounder to run Steam, Xbox, or PlayStation games online. So, in this video, I'll guide you through the complete setup process. So, let's get started. Here I have already installed the Game Hub emulator. Let's open it up. And here again, we got the latest new update version 5.1.0. It's a major upgrade, and this time they have fixed a lot of compatibility issues in PC emulation. That means you can run games at much higher frame rates than the previous version. They fixed a bug in FX translation, added DirectX 11 support for old ARM devices, added more PC emulator settings, resolved the key mapping issue, and fixed some game launcher issues that failed to initialize Steam. So, I'll simply update it now. You can directly install it as an update within the app itself. All right, now let's relaunch the app. And there we go, we are on the main screen. If you want to import any PC game, you can directly import it from the folder path where you copied its files. But in this video, I'll show you how to set up the Steam on this emulator. Simply select Sign into Steam. If you already have a Steam account, you can log in. Or you can scan a QR code to log in directly from your mobile via Steam app. I have already logged in on another device. Here it displays your info, duration of playtime, and number of games in your existing Steam library. I have already downloaded some Steam games like Black Myth Wukong and a couple of other Steam version games. Even if you copied any Steam game from your PC, it will directly get initialized into the Steam library. Or let's say if you want to play PUBG, you can simply add it to your library. Here, it shows the total size of the game and available space on this device so that you can install and play Steam games directly on mobile. As usual, you can also play your purchased games just by installing them onto this device via Steam. At the bottom, we have a search option to find Steam games. It will show some popular recommendations like Forza Horizon 5, RDR2, Cyberpunk, or whatever. You can find and play them by filtering through categories. Anyway, I have already installed games from Steam. Let's try with Black Myth Wukong Benchmark Tool. As usual, go to Settings. Set Game Resolution. I'll leave everything at default. And let's see. This game will automatically synchronize via Steam, including cloud saves. But don't expect more intensive titles or multiplayer games to fully work on mobile devices via Steam, since this is still under development. All right, here we got the loading bar at the bottom. Oh, it crashed. Some games may not work properly as they require more raw power. Anyway, let's try another Steam game. I'll leave everything at default. Here we have a Steam option which also shows our client version. Make sure to enable Steam Network Acceleration. There's also an offline mode, allowing you to run verified Steam games without the internet. That's actually pretty useful. Now let's load this game. All right, it's loaded. This is a multiplayer version of the game and everything runs online. The frame rate here is still pretty stable. Honestly, it's better than I expected. We're getting proper frame rates even online. You can even try some similar games like Counter-Strike 2 or others. And here we are getting a stable 50 FPS. I'll soon test this on a Mali GPU device as well, so make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my videos. Now let's go to the side menu. In control settings, they added more custom options for the trackpad and touch controls. In performance settings, they added native rendering support, which is disabled by default. All other things remain the same. In settings, they also added more options like screen brightness and volume control, which is actually good. Also, if you have Snapdragon 888 or above with more RAM, it will work better, but please don't expect highly intensive multiplayer online titles as of now. Small games will work as normal. So anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you liked, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in next video.